MPG, baby, that's what it's all about. It doesn't get more real than this. Dude, Ford has so many engine options. So how do you decide which F-150 to buy? I think the question is, which engine is best for what I want to tell and what I want to do? Hell yeah, that's why we're comparing the 5 liter V8 against the 2.7 liter EcoBoost on our MPG towing loop. Today we're using this Cimarron trailer from our friends at TransWest and we have a total loaded weight of 7,000 pounds using ballast water in this case. But this is a beautifully made aluminum horse trailer and check out TransWest by clicking the link below for all of your truck, trailer and RV needs. 5 liter, that truck is currently equipped the way you see it here with the 331 rear end. 9,000 pounds is the maximum towing capacity on the 5 liter truck and of course you can get that one also higher with a different rear end as well. And today we're towing 7,000 pounds so it's kind of apples to apples with the same weight on the same route for fuel economy. There's some interesting differences. Obviously price is a big difference. This is an XLT and this is a Lariat. What are the differences? Tons, but some of them you can see from the outside starting with mirrors. Look at the differences between these. These are actually really cool. Look at that. Check this out. Yep. High-end steps. And then of course you have these, not quite so high-end. But there's also other little things that make a big difference to some people. Check this out. Yep, that's a dampened rear tailgate. I'm not going to let it go all the way down because I don't want to hit that. But, if you don't want to spend as much money... Boom! That one's not dampened. This 5 liter Lariat, it's kind of a different animal. Final price? just under 65,000 bucks. These are expensive trucks, but they both have towing packages. Let's go. Roger, V8 is first. Will the V8 match or better EcoBoost on efficiency? Because EcoBoost is supposed to be the most efficient engine. You have two very different engines with two very different philosophies of how to get power. You have, of course, the Coyote V8. It's a five liter, naturally aspirated, puts out 395 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque. Now, it's hooked up to a 10-speed automatic transmission and it's highway MPG with four-wheel drive, 22. 22 MPG. If you are towing constantly or you know often in the summer for example right I think a V8 would be a better choice that was 65 that's incredibly low Ford is really good at dialing down noise yep. they've been on the forefront of sound control Getting up to speed it took a little while. Brakes are no problem. Um, lateral stability seems to be pretty good. It porpoises just a little tiny bit, which a lot of trailer, you know, trucks that are towing trailers do. But it's just a little bit. Um, for the most part, it's not having a problem at all towing. It seems to be pretty happy. It's cruising now at 70 miles per hour in cruise control, no issues. And at least for the moment, it's saying that we're getting 9.2 miles per gallon. All right, the five liter trip meter says? 9.4 average MPG. Nice, let's see what the pump says. Far out. Is that it? That's it. 6.7. This loop is 66 miles. Divide by 6.701. Should be really close to 10. Damn! 
9.8 Now a very different engine is this 2.7 liter twin turbocharged EcoBoost V6. It puts out 325 horsepower, but the same 400 pound-feet of torque and it's also hooked up to a 10-speed automatic transmission. Yes, it's four-wheel drive, but here's the big difference. Highway MPG 24. Whoa! This thing has no problem hooking up. It is a lot easier to speed up in this one than it is the 5 liter. Just I hate to say it. I'm, yeah. Dude, I, I'm almost at 70 already. And I, yeah, it's. So, problem. turbocharging, I mean, it's obvious here, at least in, in Colorado, at a mile above sea level. In the 2.7 liter EcoBoost, the way it's configured here with a 355 rear differential ratio. Max towing is 7,600 pounds. Yeah, I know, it's under 8,000 pounds. That's not a lot of capacity. You can get it higher with a 373 rear end. This one is uh, up at speed much, much faster, much faster. This EcoBoost, the 2.7, starts as a crew cap short bed 4x4 at just under $43,000. It also has about $13,000 of options, including that panoramic sunroof and it has a couple of discounts for a final price as tested of just under $55,000 for an XLT. Okay, sound check. Okay. 70 miles an hour, same stretch of road right here uh, at about what, uh, I think it's about seven to eight mile marker. So here we go. Sixty-two point point five. It's even less. So the, the other one was sixty-four. Yeah, or sixty-five-ish. Yeah. yeah, yeah, almost sixty-five. And this is sixty-two and a half. I mean, two decibels for a human ear, it's not a big deal. But this truck is even quieter, and I think it's partially probably due to the mirrors. All right, we've reached the uh, halfway mark. What's the trip meter say here? 8.8 .8 MPG, folks. Ooh, so that's less than what the 5 liter was showing. That is correct. Uh, granted, this is real world MPG. The EcoBoost has, a, you know, the eco part of the equation, right? So uh, let's see how that does. Yeah, the boost is doing just fine. <laughs> All right, let's get to the pump, dude. Yeah. There it is, 8.9 according to the computer. Very curious about this one. Ooh, just went over. It went over, dude. We still have a little bit of time and a little bit more gas to put in. All right, that's always the same method, 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. We wait 30 seconds for a double click. That's right. Okay. Okay, 66 miles divided by 7.559. 8.7. Very close to what the computer said. Very close to what the computer but said. about one MPG less than the V8. So the EcoBoost is not as efficient as the V8 towing the same amount, but keep in mind, different rear ends. Not the same MPG. You know, sacrificing that one MPG isn't such a bad thing because this thing outperformed it in terms of get up and go and passing power significantly. So I'm still pretty happy with the 2.7. All right, so we got the results for both trucks, but I want to tell you one more thing. Okay. Mr. Truck and I actually last week ran the same loop the same truck, the 2.7 liter. This boost. very same truck? Yes, this one. And the same trailer, same weight. Uh -huh. 
You viewers have been waiting for this, so here it is. 98 miles divided by 11 point... 8.3. I think some of the higher winds caused us to lose some efficiency. That's true, that's true. It's just a spring day. We're gonna have wind out here where we're at. It's just eastern Colorado plains. And we got 8.3 MPG. Oh, wow. On that loop, and we got 8.7 today with less wind. So that just kind of gives you an idea on how the wind can affect you. The result of this test is uh, that the Coyote is still very surprising. I yeah. mean, it's a good, efficient engine overall. I mean, even daily driving it empty. Yeah, empty. Or loaded. Thing about it being loaded is that I did notice a major difference between this engine, the 2.7 liter turbo, versus that Coyote engine in terms of getting up to speed, off the line acceleration, and passing power. All three of those were at the domain of the turbo. And another thing I gotta say is that both vehicles were remarkably quiet very quiet and go back to tfltruck.com for my news views and real world truck reviews mpg baby that's what it's all about it doesn't get more real than this